14 day quarantine period at home in Canada uh, and we were all tested uh, for COVID-19 uh, to make sure that we didn't accidentally bring COVID-19 with us to Romania. Obviously it's very important that we do the best we can to stop the spread of this disease uh, and give us the best chance that we can to continue operations uh, and to help people stay healthy. I think really the, the big challenge uh, first big challenge for everyone is just getting used to doing the QRA mission in an unfamiliar environment for them. Uh, obviously we do a very similar mission back home with NORAD. Uh, here it's a little bit different and so getting the team used to integrating uh, a little bit more closely for a very similar mission but now with NATO and Romania. Um, so that's definitely a, a, a small challenge but uh, a challenge nonetheless. Uh, and the other challenge as you just mentioned was uh, actually uh, not necessarily the airborne missions but conducting all of this operation with the COVID pandemic that's ongoing. Um, that's probably our single biggest challenge right now. Got here eight days ago. Uh, everything's been uh, pretty good so far. Uh, operations haven't been too crazy. We've been working pretty good hours. Been going good. Uh, we uh, always try and keep our maintenance uh, always top notch. And so uh, everything that we would do normally at home uh, we do here. Obviously, it's not uh, the same environment. We don't have our hangar. We don't have all all, all of our equipment. However, uh, we have uh, we brought a lot of things that and everything we need. And we keep uh, the jets uh, top notch. So we have the sun, uh, and I love working outside. It's great. And we're normally at home. It'd be minus 40. We're here outside in the big sun, and uh, I actually don't mind doing it at all. And we do have a, a hangar for uh, more uh, uh, bigger tasks and things where we actually need to keep the jet inside. Uh, but other than that, everything's done outside and it's great. That is correct, yes. I'm a search and rescue pilot in a uh, three-wing bag of building. And what do you fly? I fly the Griffin helicopter. It's the military variant of the Bell 412. Um, so it is a two-engine uh, two-pilot uh, helicopter and uh, it does have a hoist capability. Uh, we do have it outfitted for a specific search and rescue searchlight as well. Um, so it is fully uh, search and rescue capable and uh, our crews are trained for that as well. I'm the host nation liaison officer. Uh, I'm also the visits officer so I operate under the A-staff as A-9. Uh, it's also known as CIMIC uh, around NATO as well and uh, essentially I'm the person in, uh, in contact of uh, essentially uh, liaising with the uh, Canadian relations with uh, the host nation. Yeah, uh, so it's uh, one of the, I guess, privileges that was offered to me uh, and opportunities, and uh, I thought it was something that I could learn a lot from uh, in terms of like having a more of a uh, public relations sort of background or uh, kind of learning more about uh, liaising and as well as getting a good grasp of how NATO countries operate. So uh, the opportunity presented itself, and uh, I was really fortunate and thankful for it. So for the time being, we're staying restricted here on base, um, but it's not that big of a deal at the moment because we're focused on operations. We have a busy month right now starting QRA, uh, but we're also gonna be participating in some exercises with the Romanian Air Force and the Bulg uh, Bulgarian Air Force. Uh, so exercise Thracian Viper, exercise Blue Bridge, um, as well as working locally with the Romanian Air Force MiG-21s and the F-16s from the 86th Air Base just down the road. And I just want to say a huge thank you to the Romanian Air Force, to the staff here at the 57th Air Base, uh, to our American allies here that are helping to support the mission as well. Uh, this is just such an excellent opportunity for us to work with NATO uh, and contribute to NATO deterrence and assurance measures. Um, you know, things are going well and we look forward to just a wonderful deployment here over the next few months.